Hey everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date is the 23rd of May 2016. Our discussion is going to be on strong, stronger, and strongest. In Genesis 3228, it isn't anymore. The man told him, it is Israel, one who has power with God because you have been strong with God. You shall prevail with men. In Joshua 1 7, you need only to be strong and courageous and to obey the letter of every law Moses gave you. For if you are careful to obey every one of them, you will be successful in everything you do. 1 Samuel 16:18. One of them said, He knew a young fellow in Bethlehem, the son of a man named Jesse, who was not only a talented harp player, but was handsome, brave, and strong, and had good, solid judgment. What's more, he added, the Lord is with him. In Psalms 18.2, The Lord is my fort, where I can enter to be saved. No one can follow me in and slay me. He is a rugged mountain where I hide. He is my Savior, a rock where none can reach him, and tower of safety. He is my shield. He is like strong, the strong horn of a mighty fighting bull. Now, this is interesting. Um, I found some interesting things on this one. Be strong for God, as Joseph the son of Jacob was when he was wrong. Joshua told the Israelites to be strong, keep the commandments of Moses, and God will fight for them. King David remained strong when we went up against Goliath because he knew God would fight the battle for him. King David also knew that Jesus was the strong rock that is the cornerstone of the foundation. We need to be strong and resist temptation and sin. I want to thank you today. Have a blessed day.